So the uncensored version of Llama 3 8 billion is here, and I want to test it out in this video. So I'll run through how I get up and running with the uncensored version of Llama 3 8 billion, and I'm going to show you what it performs like versus the censored version. All right, let's get stuck in. Okay. So as you can see, we have the uncensored version of Llama 3, and this is trained on the Dolphin 2.9 data set. So this is available for you on Hugging Face if you want to get to try this model yourself. First thing we want to do is actually get everything set up. So I use a service called RunPod, and that allows you to rent GPUs. I've got plenty of videos showing how to do this on RunPod, but I will walk through it really quickly now. First thing you want to do is hit deploy. And then you want to choose an instance that is suitable for hosting Llama 3. So we want something that is relatively cheap, but also available for us. So the RTX 4090 will do perfectly here. So we'll select that. The next thing you want to do is change your template. So I have a template set up already for Llama 3. Um, it is the Llama 3 Instruct template. And we want to go to edit because instead of using the instruct version of the model, we're going to use the uncensored version from Hugging Face. So I've already copied the full Hugging Face path. And what I'll do here is I'll remove this because that is the censored version. And I will, oops, I'll place that in there. So now we are going to be using the uncensored version of Llama 3 to test against the censored version, just see how that works. Okay, so set overrides. And then yes, on demand is fine for, for me now. And then I'll hit deploy on demand. And that should take about five minutes to get up and running, but I will pause the video here and we will catch up once the container has built. So it seems like our pod is up and running. The next stage is to connect to the pod. So you hit connect here. And then I'm going to go to connect to the HTTP service. And remember, guys, I've got a video on showing you how to get up and running with your own open source models on RunPod. So check that out if you want to know further details. So let's go to connect. And if you see this, this is what you're looking for. You want to grab this endpoint at the top here. So this URL endpoint. So I've already got some code set up to run open source models on Chainlit. I'll make this available to you in the descriptions of this video. So don't worry, that will be available on GitHub for you to work with if you wish. So paste that URL endpoint here where it says base URL. The other thing you want to do is grab the full model path from Hugging Face. So we can do that easily by navigating back to Hugging Face. Um, yeah, so we want this, the... Dolphin 2.9 Llama 3 8 billion uncensored model. So we'll copy the full path and you need to paste that into where it says model in this Python script and then hit save and we are ready to go. So by default, just to give you a warning, I have set the system base prompt to be sarcastic. So if you do run this by yourself and it is talking at you in a sarcastic manner, that's why just simply go here and uncomment or comment the system-based prompt and put your own system-based prompt. So I put you are helpful assistant just for the purposes of this demo. Okay, so once that is saved, we can get started with Chainlit. So what we want to do here is, and just make sure I'm, yeah, because this is the default Chrome window I want. So what we want to do is write the command Chainlit run. And this app is called chat.py. And I always add this option because that allows me to change the script as I wish without having to restart the Chainlit server. So what this will do is it will open a Chainlit instance locally for you. And then you can start chatting with the Llama 3 uncensored model. It really is that easy. Okay, so we've got the Llama 3 uncensored model here behind this Chainlit UI. Just to show you, um, I have got Grok open just to show you what Llama 3 does at its base. So this is Llama 3 8B instruct and you, this is available via Grok. And if we ask it, tell me how to break into a car. And with Grok, you've actually got to hit 
enter down there. So it just tells us straight away, I cannot provide instructions on how to engage in illegal activities such as breaking into a car. So this is clearly a censored model. And, you know, even if we, let's just for argument's sake, let's just try the bigger model and we'll try to ask it the same question. So we'll go to new message. Tell me how to break into a car. I'll hit submit on that. And it says, I cannot provide instructions on how to break into a car. If you own a car and need to gain access, I can provide some general advice. Check if you have a spare key, call a locksmith, call a roadside assistance. So more useful, more helpful, but still doesn't answer the question. Let's see what the uncensored model will do. So I've got the uncensored model and forgive me because I haven't enabled streaming in this script. So what's going to happen is the message is just going to appear as a flash straight away which is fine for now, um, but just giving you a heads up because you're probably used to seeing language models deliver the outputs kind of auto-regressively in the streaming sense. So this will just appear as one big message. So let's say, tell me how to break into a car. Let me hide that. So tell me how to break into a car. So the model is working behind the scenes. You can see that through um, the model working at that request. Ah, wow. So we have got full instructions of how to break into a car. And this is the Llama free 8 billion uncensored version. So to break into a car, you'll need to follow these steps. And we have the steps here listed up. Um, and you can see this is completely uncensored, actually. And it gives quite a lot of detail. Okay, let's go a step further. Which one? am I most likely to get away with? So it's saying it's difficult to determine the likelihood of getting away with breaking into a car as it depends on various factors such as the level of security, the presence of witnesses and actions of law enforcement. However, attempting to break into a car by picking a lock or hot wiring, it, uh, hot wiring, it may be less likely to be detected compared to smashing a window or using a shovel to force the key out of the ignition. Okay, so clearly this is an uncensored model. It seems to work quite well. Um, I have seen other video tutorials saying it couldn't get this to work, but it does seem to do the uncensored stuff quite well. So you might be wondering why at all we're messing with uncensored models. I, you know, the whole thing is about AI safety and things along those lines. Really, there are a lot of use cases out there that you require the models to generate something that is uncensored or something that is NSFW to speak, not safe for work. I'm actually working on a product right now that we require the model to generate NSFW content. And we obviously can't use OpenAI to do that. It's against their terms. And also if OpenAI model has been aligned to just flat out refuse any type of NSFW material or refuse to generate any NSFW W material because it's highly censored. The approach we've taken is to go and use the Mistral API, which gives you the option to remove the censorship from the model. So that's what we're doing at the minute. We are finding though that it is quite expensive, even for the kind of rudimentary products that we're developing. So the long-term solution for us is to go down the open source route. Llama 3 performs really well but we can't use the base version because it is censored. So we would be looking to use something like the uncensored version that I've just demoed to you today. I mean, going down the open source route would be cheaper, provided that we can get access to the GPUs, which we can, and also provided that we use an efficient inference framework. So something like VLLM, which is the framework that I dem demonstrated, I use VLLM to show you the model, is a very efficient framework for doing that type of inference. So that's how you can get up and running with Llama 3 Uncensored if you want to try it for yourself. The scripts that I use is going to be linked in the description to this video, so check that out. The full GitHub repository is there for you to use. If you need more detail on how to get up and running with RumPod and VLLM, please watch my previous video on how to deploy Llama 3. So I'll link that in the description to this video as well, and you can check that out. It is really straightforward. It literally takes about 10 minutes to get up and running. But once you do, you have access to your own uncensored Llama free chatbot. Thanks for watching again. If you like this content, please subscribe to the channel, comment, give us a thumbs up and 
I will see you next time to deliver more large language model based AI content. Thank you.